Hey Bible fans, this is Ice Ice Hedgefund here. And we're back with the decklist of the week from the big boy with Hasboyard. We're up against Andy, which presumably will be a rebirth into Leela. And we've ended up with two kind of meh hands. Uh, we do have Mother Goddess, which should protect us from Siphon at least. But R&D is going to be wide open, unless we draw into something good from either our mandatory or the green level. So at least we have some options. Nope, instead we find more agendas. Uh, so Neural in hand. So instead we're looking for the motion pretty quickly. And obviously we're going to be motioning out a, an agenda. This deck hasn't worked out too great for me so far. Um, I, I can't seem to get a read on opponents, unfortunately. So I motion out a trap, usually a trap first, and then they don't run it, but then they run any agenda that I do motion out. Um, the exception being, well, this isn't what we expected at all. Uh, the exception being earlier, I was playing against a friend of mine, motioned out an agenda because no one else had run them, and sure enough, he did. But we'll see how we get on. This is still awkward. We draw archive before anything that we want to use it. Oh yes, of course. Councilman out. Okay, perfect. We'll tidy up our hand a little bit, or not. Um, maybe just take a credit, get rid of two agendas. That seems the wisest. And we can motion out the Vitruvius next. I nearly want to shuffle because they could easily have... Uh, they're playing Beth, they probably don't play Rumor Mill. That's what we're hoping at least. Okay, gonna money up and Logos. So interesting little build here. Uh, Beth is a great card. We have Biotic, which isn't any good to us at the moment really. So we're just gonna motion out the Vitruvius and events by one. And now we hope they don't rebirth into Leela and then run our archives. They might be happy enough to let us score because they get the Logos trigger. But we'll try and get a read on them now. Rebirth. Oh no. Into Ian. So even happier for us to get a score early. Interesting. On the flip side, I'm glad it's not Leela because she kind of really screws around with this deck. So we can get an early score, which will unfortunately give them money, but hopefully we can use it to good effect. So we'll score out of Vitruvius with three tokens, which isn't bad at all. And I might stick the quicksand on R&D just so we don't bleed accesses. And now that they're getting a trigger, I'm going to also shuffle. Because now they might have found Rumor Mill. So we can send back to this and we can send back this as well. Because we have the counters and we have the archive memories to get back the emotion. And we kind of want to get back as soon as possible. Fall Guy and Proco. Hmm. They are really playing for the long game. Which means they may not run anything that we motion. They may just kind of try and put together a big R&D charge. We draw another motion. So, it's kind of awkward. That many resources, I don't think they're going to try and siphon us. So we'll just shore up R&D instead. And try and draw into Cerebral or another, another agenda soon. This also protects them from the New Orleans P play we want to do. Oh yeah, they're definitely not, definitely not siphoning us now. So pop the green level. Jackson is uh, kind of boring. We'll put him down anyway, and we'll take a credit. If they want to, they can trash him. Hmm, we shouldn't have taken the credit. Now we've given them an extra click. 
And they're also getting a click from Beckman. So, this game is getting more and more challenging. Guru to Vinder. One net or meat. Um, okay, that actually that does affect us. We want to neural them. So that's annoying. And the source. Wow. Okay, so this game is getting harder and harder, it seems. <sighs> we can motion out the beta test. Yeah, let's see how this does. Will they want to take with the source out on the table? Oh, drive by. So they know exactly what it is. So they've checked the source, and the city hall goes down. This is going to be an interesting game. We may have to go for normal scores. Um, let's draw first. Maybe stick next bronze on the new remote. And let's archive just in case we want to motion soon. It is tough playing against a six click runner. Now the breaker is coming down. So we have lots of motions. But we do not have anything. Let's see if we can get them on the secretary. A piece of ice in front of it might be nice, but uh, not going to happen, unfortunately. So they can say one thing drive by if they want. That's actually better for us. Yeah, that's fine. So we're using up some of their precious resources. We have plenty of recursion for the the motion. In fact, we could even try and get back the secretary if we wanted. No, we're not going to do much for us at the moment. We're getting to a point where we can neural, neural, even biotic, yeah. <laughs> Lateral growth. So we could check them for plenty of damage. This will give us four clicks. Assuming we can afford everything, but this is the issue now. So I think we have to go for actual scoring now. Uh, let's blue level. And sure, let's get this into server five. We'll get rid of We can do this instead. That makes more sense. This rig is insane. Peacock. Okay, well, just as well they're making lots of money then. So we may have to chip away with them instead. Go for install advanced fans on the overrider. And try to get some next ice raised. I think that's what we do. 
It may not work. But I think we have to try. It's going to be a case of uh, slowly chip away at their resources and hen size and all of that. The deck description does say that a runner can still win with uh, two brain damage or three brain damage. Hmm. Not going to go for it. So what's plan B? We can buy out account Vitruvius many times. It's not that exciting. Um, we could motion out the Vitruvius. A lot of things we could do. Yeah, let's uh. Let's try this again. A dangerous game. But that seems to be the purpose of this deck list of the week, which is something that I haven't quite gotten on board with yet. Lots and lots of money. Oh man. <laughs> so then go pick that up. Easy enough. So we're going to stop them forgetting there are two credits at least. Hmm. So motions are just not going to do the check trick here. Instead, we have to do everything the hard way. Could install events. Nope, can't do that. Um, credit, credit it is. So we may have to... Wow. <laughs> Things are getting very out of hand very quickly. Thirty credits. We might just have to go double biotic and score this. That might work. Subbiotic. No, that doesn't actually do anything for us. Brings us up to five. Eesh. Triple biotic. Now we do have the Vesuvius, and we do have a lot of money. So I think we install this uh, same old thing, drive by hurts us. <laughs> so rebuilds back. Okay, let's uh get rid of this and just install this into server five and see what kind of thing we can make and do. The brain damage dream is well and truly dead. Okay, they're just going to come for it manually. I suppose with uh, no advancements, there's much less to fear. <laughs> I see. At least this isn't 
too easy to get through. Three for passport. Uh, three for most. And perhaps surprisingly we only have the one agenda in hand. But they get it. <sighs> hmm. Trickier and trickier. Double bar, I guess it's five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. We need them to lose one more card. And then we can actually do some damage. Preferably not a drive by here, but not the worst thing in the world if it does happen. Oh yeah. If they want to, they can cancel my name. Okay. We will shuffle away. And just go for money, I think. Maybe an overwriter just to try and keep them honest. So Guru is going to keep them alive. So I think we're just going to be scoring out the very, very hard way. Which is double biotic, anything that comes our way. Shouldn't have drawn. I regret everything. So biotic 3, biotic 4. Oh, this is... Pretty tragic. And could draw again, pitch the neural. Kinda have to hope that HQ holds up for us. It's gonna have to be a triple biotic and install and hope for the best here. Come on, HQ, hold out for us. So, if they want to come again soon, they can see our entire hand. On the plus side, we've gotten them down to 17 credits, so that's something. Okay, so triple biotic it is then. And they don't have clot in their bag of tricks. So let's biotic, biotic. Uh, Vitruvius for another biotic. We need another one, actually. Ah, oh, curse you, source. Uh, 
And this will ultimately cost us an R&D, but how often can you say that you bought it so many times to score one agenda? My job here is done. This is exactly what the um, exactly what this uh, deck is not supposed to be doing. And we still have the source, which means our last score could be tricky again. I'm calling in favors for eleven credits. It's pretty good. So we can raise Vikram, which is decent, and we can raise one of the next dice, or rather the next silver. Unfortunately, they can just lock us here and not have to worry for the next few turns. So Vikram is six for each of us. And silver is the smarter one. So four subs. And now we more than likely lose. Just a question of how many do they want to see? They want to see all of it. That makes sense. We lose an overrider, but that wasn't going to work for us anyway. Ah yeah, that works. Well, that was an interesting game, if nothing else. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, come on over to Ice Ice Hedge Fund for more Gentechi.net videos.